want to talk a little bit about her chewing of her hair. It's going on a little bit off. Take it. Uh, I think a couple of things have to happen. I think uh, number one is when she's not supervised, she can't practice. If that means keeping her in a crate with either an inner tube around her neck or a cone on her head. So if nobody's supervising, she can't practice the bad behavior. It doesn't get worse. Whatever the vet might want to try as far as meds, sprays, that's all up to you. Then when you're with her, you need to have her on a leash. And you can work, I think that there's two parts. I think if you exercise the heck out of her, either jog her next to a bicycle, jog with her a couple of times a day, get her on a treadmill, something to wear her out, something to drain the tank. And then obedience helps calm the mind. Now, uh, the strategy for stopping the chewing off, hey, take it, is if she starts to chew, to say no, interrupt, redirect praise. If you, ha if you work on an exercise like go to bed and you have her laying down and chewing something, redirect, if she starts to chew, say no, give a tug, redirect to something like a nylophone or one of these, uh, there she goes. So I instead of the bad behavior, let her chew on one of these horns, and she seems to like it. And this would be way better than chewing on herself. And look at I was uh, prepared to spread some cheese on it or some peanut butter on it. But if any good girl, good, good now, good now. Now the heater went on, and you can see that that bothers her a little bit. But this is a great chew toy. So anytime you see the bad behavior, you've got to say no and give a little tug on the leash. Either have her work on go to bed anyway, it's a good exercise to practice, and then give her the bone to chew, and praise her for chewing it, and I think that that's the best way to keep her from messing with that, and if you can make it where she hasn't been biting at herself or chewing for a real long time, you've replaced it with a better, an alternate behavior, and she forgets about doing that, maybe you can keep it from happening. I don't know if the length of the hair will matter, or if she would just take it down shorter, but again, when she's not being supervised, she can't practice the bad behavior. If she's tired enough, maybe she would sleep. If she's not going to be tired enough, put a cone on her head or a tube around her neck. And then be there showing her an alternate replacement behavior that's one that you want her to be practicing. I don't know if she has, uh, what kind of chew toy she has in her room. But this seems to work great. Good down. Good down. Down. Good down. Good down. I'm ready to say no down if I think she's going to get up. Good down. Good down. Good down.